Hey guys, I got a little bit of a different video for you today. Um, been doing some cameras in my warehouse and at my garage, and I was looking for something that was a, a small pan and tilt model, and I came across this guy. And I figured it was worth doing a little video on it because it's a little bit different um, if you want to set it up and have your own control. So it's it's a it's a Hikvision model and um, a Q1. It's not sold in the United States, but you can pick it up on eBay and probably Amazon uh, for U.S. It is English because it's sold in uh, the EU, probably in the UK primarily. I've curved out the uh, serial number here, but you can see everything's in English and it, it has English firmware. And be careful when you order them that you get them with English firmware. It's a very uh, simple, straightforward camera. It's really a quite nice setup um, to, to have pan and tilt built in. You know, so you got a little bit of warranty information here. I'm not intending this to be an unboxing video, but figured I'd do it anyway. And then here's the little guy here. Now the thing with this guy, um, he does not do power over Ethernet, but he does have an Ethernet port. And because he doesn't do PoE, uh, the way he does it is through this um, USB connector, and then there'll be an adapter, kind of like your, your mobile phone would have. Uh, he can be mounted um, on the ceiling. There's an adapter they include for that in here. But I'm primarily interested in having him, you know, just sit like this. So I'm going to show you how you can set him up. And the re reason it's worth doing a video on that is you normally can't, um, you know, configure him because you cannot access the firmware through your browser. It's kind of an interesting change they did. I don't know why, but it makes it really hard uh, to access it because you can't just plug the IP address in and get access to the firmware. So I'm going to show you how, with some other tools from Hikvision, uh, that you can still do that. So um, power-wise, you know, it's very just like a, a mobile phone pretty much. We're going to plug this guy in, and then we're going to hook him up here. And this doesn't, by the way, this is not um, a standard micro USB. It's kind of like a proprietary cable, so keep that in mind as well. And then we're going to hook him up to our, our regular Ethernet on the building here. So it starts off as red. And while he's powering up, just to give you an idea of what we're looking at here, um, you can see this guy is just roughly about a little over three inches wide. And he's like about a little over five inches tall. It's a, it's a, it's a perfect little guy um, to include inside of an office or something that you can access remotely. So what I'm going to do to get the IP I'm going to put my MacBook over here. I'm going to run a Hikvision tool, the SADP tool. Those of you who had run it are probably familiar with it. This particular tool is only on Windows, um, but I'm RDP'd into a Windows PC from my Mac here. Hello. And there he goes. So, so he has a little bit of voice reco. Um, and the light, you know, it was red before, and now it's blue. And so when it says hello, and it goes through a little bit of a, a pan and tilt Network test. Network connected successfully. There you go. It's pretty cool. Your device is added to the platform successfully. All right, so it's going through and doing its thing. And we did a refresh here in SADP so that we can get the IP address. The IP address will be in this field here. And uh, in this case, it's uh, 2.151. And what I'm going to do is, and you can see the model number of this, I've got the 2 megapixel version here. There's also a 1 megapixel version. You can see this guy keeps, you know, basically doing a low patrol maneuver. Uh, to test out the uh, the mechanical and electronics. It's just part of what it does on, on boot up. There's nothing I'm running here yet. Um, you can see this has got a kind of an unusual number. It's got a 2CV. Usually you see a 2CD uh, model number on these uh, Hikvision cameras at this uh, particular megapixel rate, but this is a 2CV. It's known in Europe as a consumer IPC. You can see it if you go to the Hikvision site in, in Europe. And now we've got we've got the IP address using the SADP tool. Now what I'm going to show you is how you can uh, access it and, and program it without having um, access to the firmware from the browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to run another Hikvision tool. And this Hikvision tool, let me minimize the browser here, is called IVMS 4200. IVMS 4200. And what we can do with this tool is we can do remote configuration and we can access all of the firmware parameters that way. I have some other cameras already here that I have set up at this, uh, this location. I'm going to go add this guy uh, that we just did here. So I'm going to give him a new name of 08. And we're going to plug in that address that we saw over there. 
and I'm going to plug in uh, the admin user. And when you first set these up um, for security reasons wise, you're going to end up doing admin and then you're going to add the, um, the number that's on the bottom of the camera. Um, the first time setting up, they, they have a security feature, and since you can't log into the firmware, this is the only way you can do that. So I'm going to tilt this guy over. I'm obviously not going to show that on, on film you know, for security reasons, but I'm going to um, plug Sorry that Sorry about in. that. Very small. And, and I, I misspoke before here, too. I, 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 I meant to say verification code. So again, just to recap where I was before I had to uh, uh, get my glasses here and uh, read this. Um, you come up inside of the IVMS 4200, uh, app and under device management, you click add. And you want to make sure you got IP domain selected. And then you're going to give it a name. This would be whatever you want. You're going to give it the uh, DHCP IP address that we found using the SADP tool previously. Remember, we were remote logged into my, my Windows PC to do that part. Um, it's going to come up defaulted to port 8000, which is the management port. That's fine. And then we're going to type in admin, all lowercase. And then the password to do activation is, again, the word admin, all, all lowercase. And then with no spaces or anything else, start typing in that verification code that's found on the sticker on the bottom of the camera. And then click Add. Okay, so what we see now, we've got the camera added. And um, it's currently at medium security by default. We're going to have to change that password. But the point of uh, what I'm trying to do in the video and show you here is how we can remotely access it. You know, for example, you know, if I pull up the browser here, and you sit here on the Hikvision site, and I'm going to show you how to get these tools in a minute. If I was to come over to the browser and type in um, that particular IP address that this camera is at, it's not going to let you access the firmware. It's, it's a new design that doesn't permit that. And, you know, for some folks, that's going to be a deal breaker. Um, I've, I found a way that, you know, you can use these other tools and do it, and that's the point of this video. Um, you know, some, some people, the power over ether not, not being there is going to be a deal breaker. But for me, you know, that wasn't a big deal. Anyway, so how can I, you know, how can you and, and I get in and change things in the firmware? Well, once you get it added with this IVMS 4200 tool, then you can click remote configuration. And I'm going to show you what the remote configuration screen looks like uh, here. We can pop in and um, take a look at some of these settings uh, here. Anything that we could normally do in... Um, in the firmware we can do from here. We can come in here and we can take a look at different pieces of the settings that you would normally look at from the browser. So everything you would want to set up through the firmware you can do through remote configuration using IVMS 4200. And once you get it set up the way you want, you can change the password, get it to be stronger and yada yada yada, uh, you know, then, then you'll be all set uh, for what you want to do there. Very similarly, you know, you'll see people tell you, well, you can't add this camera in an NVR. Well, I have a, a DS7108, and I can, I, I can add it as the IP, and it's going to work just fine for, for the very similar reason that we just went through here. So how do I get these tools? If you go to the Hikvision site, um, and I'm on the U.S. site right now because the whole point is thing is geared to folks in the U.S. and in Canada. If I go under support and I go under downloads, this is live, right? So I come under these guys and I take a look at uh, tools, under downloads tools. Here's the SADP tool. This is only available for Windows. So you go get this and, and you run this on Windows and this will tell you what the IP address uh, for the camera is. The second thing I do is you come into client software and then right down here you'll see the IVMS 4200. Here's the new Mac version that I'm running. You can also get it for Windows, same UI and same basic flow. So between these two tools, you can get the camera's IP, you can get him configured by not, you know, without having to get into the firmware. And uh, then with that all set up, you can then add him uh, how you want him. What I do is I use the, uh, the app that they have on the App Store, the IVMS 4500 app. It's 4500 here, and you can add the, the camera that way, and then you can do the remote configuration. Of course, you've got to add port forwarding in your router. can't show that because it's going to vary from router to router. But I hope this video helps you out. Um, this is a nice little guy, little camera, and um, you know he performs pretty well. As you can see, you know he's kind of kind of nice looking. He's kind of uh, sporty, and like he says, he does pan and tilt.